Okay, welcome to the video. So today, I'm going to have to let you inside the Roswell files. These, um, deep secrets that we've been keeping here on this channel for so long, but you can't tell anybody. Yeah, so, anyhow, here's what, here's what the, um, special image was. As you can see here, we have an anomaly. So the mission today is to go take care of that anomaly. See what it is, investigate, make sure it is, everything's okay, because, you know, We've got to do this secretly, so there's going to be a series of cover stories, as well as other fun things. So, get ready, let's have some fun, and let's go see what we're going to do. Alright, we're here with our Pan Avia Tornado, we're going to do the first part of this mission, meaning we are going to um, make sure the anomaly is clear by um, sending our stories here at the bottom to that. Now, the people here in... New Mexico are probably used to seeing this kind of plane fly on your own, as you can see. There's a German Air Force flying training simulator here called an Air Force Base. It exists in real life, and I've seen it. So we're using this tornado just to make sure that nobody gets suspicious. We've got the nice New Mexico flag painted on the back. So, with the whole emblem of the German Air Force flying training center. So, let's jump inside and close the canopy and start the engines. So, close the canopy. <coughs> Lock it and make sure the engines get started. Hit this or not yet. Okay, almost ready. So we got to our engines first. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and do that by go ahead and use the locks in the back and hit start for our right engine first. Ready, so we have to push this forwards. And it should come up sometime soon. That's what did it. I forgot to set those properly. Okay, and uh, engine number two. The right engine. And the same thing should happen. There it goes, good. This good to go. Get you off. Hit the early arm, the master arm. Let's get out of here, I'll see you guys on the runway. Alrighty, we're here on the runway, so go ahead and turn on the flashers, nav lights. And we've got formation we don't need, we're flying by ourselves today. Go ahead and hit the landing lights as well. Okay. Should have been on taxi, but okay, that's fine. That's that. Make sure there's nothing coming. Oh, there's a lot of balloons in the area today. Check the real map. The in-game map. Okay, we are good. So, all we have to do is take off. Let's do it.
Okay, you gotta come out after her to save our fuel. Continue climbing. Make a turn towards, I suppose, the west. We want to go towards the east. Try to get up to around 20,000 feet. Pull it out after burner. Let it level off here. And bring the wings in for a little bit of better speed. Turn on the flight director. Or no, just the flight director. Actually, we'll camp out here at this heading. The okay, afterburners are out. Hit the heading select. And pop it select. Right here is good enough. Okay, we are officially on the way. Get the landing lights off. Don't need them anymore. Try to back off the throttle a little bit. And jump to the back. Okay, so, the target here. Weapons pack is set up. So we need to hit late arm. Here we go. We want to get that under 70 nautical miles and go ahead and... Bearing is 59, huh? So we'll make that turn. The plan is to come out here where nobody can even see us. Launch storm shadow missiles onto two of the targets. We call Lake Bed and Lake Bed 2 for um simplification reasons. So we're still speeding up. Get back off the throttle some more. Back up a little bit. Okay, good, right here. Nope, still slowing down. I want to go faster. Okay, there we go. Leave it that way. And we are under 70 knots to the target. So, jump right here. This is for target take bed, take arm, storm shadow, tail fuse. So, let's go ahead and let the first one go in 3, 2, 1. There it goes.
your plane. Up there, and... I bet you're wondering what's gonna happen to this storm shadow. Is this gonna crash? Nope. I decided to back up and the engine will restart. So it's already set to go. So like I said, the people living in Roswell are used to seeing stuff fly around, so they really won't question this. We we're gonna put out a nice cover story anyways. Say, the weather balloon crashed. Okay, that will start this engine back up. Getting nice and low to be undetectable. So, we have a second one to deal with. My auto throttle. Worry about that another time. Let's use manual throttle for now. You know, we're getting a little bit fast. Next, target two, small lake bed. So, go ahead and bring this back down a little bit. The throttle. Under wing. Okay, send a few solar stuff. Empty. Wing. Underwing. Okay, good. So this one is here. So what we're gonna do now is launch the second one. And go. It's also on its way down. This is the first one. Headed to lake bed through the rain. Interesting. And we can also track the second one. So I don't want to deal with that rain. I like good weather, so I'm going to make a turn to the north. Get away from it. We're gonna let that happen and go back to tracking our weapon. Forty seven nautical miles up.
isn't as scary as the F-35. You can get it down and stay on the runway this time. Gonna be high or will it? Okay, we're in. Gotta practice centering in this plane a lot. Speed brakes, go. Okay, there it is. We are back in. After a cruise missile strike on an anomaly. We're calling a lake bed, so we're gonna have to send in something else to survey the area to make sure everything's fine. So that's gonna happen. We'll see that right up here, or we'll see that up next. Okay, guys, this is our cover story for the first part of this video. So, this is what we're gonna tell the press to happen, this is what we're gonna put out to the people. So these two fast weather balloons crashed and we we're very sorry to lose them because they were speed. Anyhow, let's move on to the next segment of this video and see what comes next in our mission to investigate the anomaly. Hello, hello, hello. So today we are going to take the T7 back out and go see what our um tornado did to the um, anomaly is go check it out there and nothing nothing special so we're just gonna go over there and see what we got to do and then come right back here just another trainer flight we're gonna demo the trainer over Roswell because you know just a demo right nothing unusual going on so let's go ahead and reach the parking brakes and move on out of here check the fuel we're full okay let's go this should be a short flight. See you on the runway. Right, we're back on the runway. Let's get the landing lights, strobe lights on. Turn this guy off. Save a little fuel. After burner fuel will go. Everything here go. Bud light. I'm gonna turn that up. We're gonna need that when we come back probably. So it's getting kind of dark already. So all that's HUD brightness. Let's turn it up. There we go. Alrighty, so up to 2000. Maybe, maybe that'll be good for coming back. Okay, so let's go ahead and let this go. Get on the runway and get out of here. We are airport. Good for us. Rocket it on out of here. Yeah. Okay, let's push back over. Make the turn. Tad pull is proper. I can't really see. And 
and go ahead and bring her back level. Have to burn her off. And let's keep climbing to 20,000 and go ahead and get over there. There it is right there. The airfield is here, so it couldn't be the airfield. Right. And I uh, gotta take control of my airplane again. Let's go down. You know, we need to um, get ready. Just in case. Okay, so this area looks pretty clear. A lot of salt there, you know. It's a little bit off to the area where the tornado came. But still this river area. Yeah, no, just going to number one, number two, and go back up. All right, we got that. Try using the a certain camera to see if we can get it properly. Push our throttles up. Bring the airplane back up. This area here. Little pilot servo. Let's see if we get it in there. Yep, so now, let's go further up the river to where the tornado actually hit. Traveling almost west, so we gotta go back north. Follow the river for a second. Let's see what we can see here. Just looking, nothing special. Okay, I see some trees down there. All right. Yeah, there's a 
big hit here. There's a lot of scratches on this desert floor. Wonder what it was. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of scratches. This is definitely the area we found our anomaly. Over G, over G. Okay. Pulling back out of that high G turn. Head south again. I think the tornado had, some, had an impact here, so we should, you know. Just check to make sure everything is fine. This road here. Okay, nice hit on the roots. Or whatever they might have been. How many do we have left? Two. Okay, good. Just to check and see. Nothing special here. Of course, you guys who are watching this know we're investigating something interesting. But you know. Let's get this one just to make sure again. We'll put out a cover story. Another one. Okay, that's it. Oh, are we going to get it? Okay, we got it. Let's see. Nothing there. Good stuff. So now, the next leg would take us back to Holloman. Right, this is empty. And we're still climbing, so. Okay. Up to. off. Go in the full afterburner. Turn around. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can we do this? Can we correct? Can we correct? Can we correct? Yes, we can. Bit of a rough landing, but we got it in. Nice and secure. All right, that's this part. We have one more part of this mission to do some observation, and then we can call it quits. All 
Alright everyone, here is our second cover story for the second part of this mission. We were having a trainer demo and it was just observing the self-destruct mechanism in these new fast weather balloons. You know, in case something happens and they fall over a city, we, we need to have a self-destruct mechanism so they can be separated into parts before they hit the ground. So yeah, nothing strange here. Nothing at all. So, now let's go on to the last part of our mission here. And, um going to finish it up with one more plane so that we see, to see that we can get things done properly. Let's go! Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. We are here today. Sorry for the um, wait there. The mic had to be replugged in, but we are here today with the Avro Woken. We're going to go to the last part of this mission. So we're going to go check to see if things are good enough to send in the actual reconnaissance aircraft and such to go look. And there's a balloon behind this. How about that? So let's go ahead and get the engine started so we can go have a look. I've already got the batteries up and everything, and I'm doing this using the manual that I have here. So gonna use the rapid start system so aircraft is clear so we're gonna go ahead and uh oh shut the door and switch these to flash all right engineer bleed switches to open starboard console Starboard's my left, I believe. Oh wait, no, starboard's right. Port is left. Oop, uh oh. There we go. Okay. And then center console on to all the fuel tank pumps. Auto manual to auto. Cross speed closed. So all fuel pumps on. these to auto cross feeds are shut good so all four throttle levers to move them up to open idling position with about 50 percent okay Okay, come on. There we go. That's good. So move the ball to about 50%, which should be about right there. Yeah, starting this guy's a little weird. Okay. Engine start panel on the left side. Okay, on the mesh switches. It's rapid. So, uh oh. Move this armrest up. I believe it's back here. Yep, rapid. And we need on on the addition switches. These are air cross feeds. Okay, let me check to make sure this is I'm not 100% familiar with this. Okay, yeah, that's it. That was right. Go ahead and open up. Okay, rapid start button. All four engine lights illuminate. And go. And 
and now it's starting. Yes, the Vulcan is starting. Okay, and now let's go ahead and throttle back. Yes! Good stuff. Alrighty, so... Okay. We're gone. So once the lights are out, we switch off ignition and engine master switches and power levels back to the idle position. So let's put those back to 50. Okay. Good stuff. Alrighty, so before we get out of here, we gotta do some last configuring. So, four taxi checks, alternator, 2D panel, on the four alternators. Amber lights have to go out. Good. Secondary panel, two TRUs go on. Let me make sure that he's gone. There we go. That's coming up. On the PFC, the auto stabilizer is an artificial feel. Yes, artificial feel. This all looks good actually already. PFC Auto stabilizers, auto push field. to there. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Just in the speed brakes. There it is. Close speed brakes. And there we go. Let's get the ground equipment away right there. There we go. Okay, and then alternator control, 2D panel, motion, uh, okay. I see make one, three, and four. It's already done. Okay, good. Already did it for me. Okay, next is the radio. On the right console, pressure head goes on. Send the right taxi lights full down. Whoa! It's taking a while to get started, isn't it? Open two engine airs, shut two in, and have port open. Shut, 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 port open. There we go. Okay, 
ejection seat pins. Those are nice and stowed, so we can leave now all nice and safe. Take a look around. Good stuff. Taxi lights down. I will catch you on the runway. Alright, we're here on the runway, so let's get ready to go. Just want to check the autopilot. Okay, just to make sure things are... Okay. And then we can use... Here is my speed and knots, there's my speed and mock. What I really want to find here though is the HSI, the heading bug, here it is. Alright, so that's how we can change the heading. Alright, let's go. We are here, let's take off. Let's go do this. lurches a bit. This is a bigger plane slightly than what we've been flying. Okay. Those engines sound amazing. Of course, landing's gonna be fun. And away we go! Passing a thousand feet radio. Two thousand feet radio. I can't see anything. Thousand feet radio. Four thousand feet radio. And we're gonna keep going. The instruments here are quite different than what I'm used to, but you know, you get used to it. Move back out of full throttle. Okay, and shut the landing lights off or retract them. See if I can't get the autopilot to work a little bit better this time. I hit engage. Okay, I can see the anomaly area coming up, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to do what we have to do. I'm not sure exactly we're going to hit it, but we will try. So, let's go open. I can hear it. And we're just going to let it go, 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 go. Alright. 
So when the time comes, we're gonna just let them out. There is the mysterious triangle. I think it honestly it's just salt flat field, but we're gonna not take any chances. We'll just um, come up with another cover story as usual about our actions here today. Alright, so we are now set to pass almost directly over the salt flat. As long as you get in the area, I'm okay with that. So let us pass over the farms, which themselves have some creepy looking circles. And we're not going to hit it exactly, I think. But as long as it's in the area, I'm okay with it. And here we go. Getting ready to deploy in 3, 2, 1. Let them all go. Okay. Here we've got. We were off to the side as I expected, but our release time was actually good. Okay. The area around the salt flat is interestingly secured. Everything looks good. And we'll just come up with the cover story. So how about that? Good for us. And okay, good. It's closing. Now we need to turn around. No idea what that was. But I know I'm too low. Okay, here we go. I've got a lot to learn on this plane. <laughs> Maintaining 500 feet above the ground, this is interesting. Am I about to stall? Maybe. Whew. Okay, came in way too low. Okay, I think we got it now. I still ended up high on the runway, okay. Completely close. Oh gosh, touchdown. And 
Play the shoot. Okay. Almost had another runway excursion there. Okay, let's get back in to the park. Alrighty, that's that. And, oh, those are still on. I want those to go in. Retract. Eh, it's fine. We'll leave them like that, as long as they're off. They probably need an inspection anyways. Okay, so that's that. Alright, that's it everyone. We are done. The mission is accomplished. We're just gonna say that a fireworks show happened to welcome the Vulcan that was flying overhead as a diplomatic gesture to this British piece of history that was visiting us. So that's what we're going to call it today. That's what we're going to call it now. And thanks for watching. That's the end of the video. That's the mission. Thanks for watching and goodbye.